pointing fingers. I'm not standing up here a bitter man, but I just want to enjoy my life while I have it, and I just want to move forward. Now at 4.30, the words of a wrongly convicted man determined to move on with his life. Maurice Hastings spent nearly 40 years in prison for a murder mm -hmm. he did not commit, and he's finally free now. KCAL 9's Tina Ezzedine has his reaction and details on a new suspect. He stands next to the flag of the state that wrongly convicted him of murder. Mr. Hastings is now finally able to clear his name and walk free. Maurice Hastings is now 69 years old and finally a free man. Conviction and sentence are recalled. Nearly four decades spent in prison, the weight of this moment as he's granted freedom one week ago setting in. On this day, Mr. Hastings quietly speaks of its meaning. I'm just moving forward. No bitterness, no anger, no no uh, finger pointing. It's taken years to get here. We have corrected a grave injustice. 20 years requesting his DNA be tested until it was recently. The death penalty sought in the case not once but twice. A jury sentenced Hastings to life in prison for the 1983 abduction and killing of an Inglewood woman and the attempted murder of her husband and friend. We no longer have any confidence and the veracity of the case against Mr. Hastings. I prayed a lot of uh, many years that this day will come to pass. Even though his mother couldn't see it, she died in June knowing her son was labeled a convicted killer. But I believe she's looking down on us now. So if Maurice Hastings did not commit the crime, who did? Prosecutors say the DNA matched that of a convicted sex offender who died in prison in 2020. Mr. Hastings tasted freedom in the moments after his release. And we had lobster and, we went to, and all of that. You know, all of that was good. I haven't had that you know, in quite a long time. A cautionary tale, say prosecutors, of the risk of the death penalty and the people that corrected it. I just want to enjoy my life while I have it, and I just want to move forward. Setting free a man who otherwise would have died in prison. In downtown, Tina Ezzedine, KCAL 9 News.